What's up, YouTube? What's up, Extreme Gains fam? Family. My name is Chuck. This is Extreme Gains. I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is or ever will be financial advice. Please do not take it as such. With that said, let's take a look at AMC uh, today. Um, range bound day. I'll come back in here to the smaller time frame to show you that. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Um, had a nice push up again, got rejected at 3070 today. Same as it did on Friday. Um, we had a little mini diversion from the spy today. Uh, first thing we, we did in pre-market as well. And then kind of reverted back, uh, same initially. And then we pretty much followed spy, uh, to a T, uh, spy did the same, um, had a push down, had a double bottom and then a run up, uh, directly after hours. Now it did shoot down about, uh, around 2%, uh, red and it's working its way back up. Now we are currently trading at 29.49 down 0.7 percent okay now to the um elgo fractal identifying uh i had and have been uh presenting a couple different uh scenarios however i want to kind of rewind a little bit here um, and I want to show you something we kind of were talking in the live stream afterwards and I want to use this as part of the update um, If you take a look at this right here This fractal right here is from This exact same Macro descending wedge that AMC is currently in this is the current fractal that we're in the white descending wedge this if you go back to the very beginning the very first when I put the video out elgo exposed the amc elgo exposed this was the prediction on it or i shouldn't say prediction this was the projection on it uh that i had and and during live streams and everything else i had drawn out where you see a double w inside of a big w this is a reoccurring uh, micro movement inside of these mid micro mid macro uh fractal shapes that are inside of the uh, macros uh fractal shapes um this it's known amc is known for this movement i've identified it repeatedly um so in the scenarios that i gave scenario one scenario two scenario one uh was the single bottom uh touch and go like what it looked like uh scenario two was the double bottom right with the confluence and on the daily the confluence support would be here and then you see we have another confluence of resistance going to take place here which would coincide uh with what i'm about to show you so what we were looking at um i brought this to everybody's attention at the end of the day today and i said you know what let's look at the i've been eyeing this one and i've had my own it was my original projection and it was this fractal right here and um this is the same fractal as the, and I'll show you from the seven year, uh, from the seven year algorithm fractal that's now been compressed to seven months, according to my theory. Uh, this is the exact same thing, the double bottom, except for um, it's a it's a little more uh, compressed. It's it's more of a uh, a check up like this. And then um, a come down and it comes up just a little bit, not the whole way up like this. Uh, it comes like to here and then it comes back down, double bottoms and then goes. I believe it may even reject over here. We'll look here in a second. Um, but I want to show you this. So this is essentially the replica of that fractal that I was using uh, for this uh, scenario number two projection that I was talking about, the double bottom scenario. And, um, however, this was the original one that I had been looking at, uh, back when I first put the video out, back when I first discovered the descending wedge, uh, pattern and, um, algorithm playing out both on the macro time frames and the micro time frames, uh, which is how I do that to confirm that I have the right, uh, algorithm, uh, mapped out. Um, so I just wanted to look at it today and what I discovered is what you're seeing, um, it appears that 
even though, and, and, and I want to be very cautious of how I say this, even though it appears that we're right now, so we're still pushing up out of here like the single bottom, okay, and I'm going to bring that up and show you, the, yep, the single bottom is the dollar tree uh, chart from 08. <clears throat> right like that single bottom uh come up let me spread this out a little bit come up come down come up come down up down up down and then long up now this is what led us to looking at this we we did a uh a volume comparison analysis on uh the movement basically from the second uh, check down here on our way up so from this candle to this candle because what we were seeing was this giant M formation right here okay um, and we're seeing that on the one hour if you take this and go to the one hour uh, we are seeing that potential pattern play out okay um and what we started thinking was was that on extended yes on the extended hours one right here oh. right here the m formation okay um we were seeing this and we were debating today see how that is now, the problem with that is we're going on a lower time frame, which incorporates more candles into a compressed uh, time frame. Therefore, uh, volume uh, comparison and comparative volume analysis has to still uh, be uh, relatable and, and, and likely to match uh, within a reasonable range. Um, and that, unfortunately, and what we had talked about, well, what if what if this big candle here right what if this boom boom that come out of the bottom uh would would basically be um so it would be from this candle to i guess like this candle because you can see here where it checks down so for, i'm sorry from this candle to the first candle out of the bottom here this volume uh total would have to be comparable to the volume total of this because we're using two different time frames uh, anytime you use two different time frames to compare there's got to be a comparative uh, volume analysis done and it's got to be really close for it to make sense to compare two different time frame movements to each other or it's just completely useless right it means nothing uh, you know if we have 400 million uh, in here and we have 4 million in this candle and we're trying to compare the two of them uh, it doesn't make any sense right but if we have, you know, 4 million spread out through here and 4 million in one candle compensating and taking up that entire movement, and then we see this giant M pattern playing out up here, one, two, uh, then that would obviously, in my opinion, be okay to compare because we have a likely, uh, we have a, a likeness of comparative volume to two different time frames that are matching up. Uh, especially if the movements are there to justify that. Um, however, after doing that, um, we're about 40 million off. Uh, I'm sorry, we are, I'm sorry, we're 80 million off. Uh, we're way too far apart, all right? Um, so that won't encompass this entire move, um, this one here. So uh, what I did then is I come in here, uh, to this and um, you know again uh, volume wise and I'll I can show you on the other charts there there's there's a way we can we can do this uh, vo but it but it's like fan dangling a little bit and I don't typically do that okay um, I'll I'm gonna work more on I know there was where did I do this at damn it I had it mapped out already. Or was it on this one? Yeah. It's 
So if you go to the weekly here, I'm just going to show you. Screw it. I got time. Uh, I'm already 10 minutes in. Holy hell. All right. Uh, 2008. I got a little off track there. I wanted to show you the other one, but I guess to explain why I got to this point and to keep it 100 and transparent with you guys, I'm going to go into this a little bit. Okay. So the volume comparison on, on this, if it were, you know, single bottom, uh, check, check, up, check, and ready to go up. Single bottom, up, check, uh, up, check, up, check. You can see here... Uh, the volume does match from uh, from down here. This this candle, this candle. Obviously, this one's from here to here, right where I have the arrow. This one's from here to where I have the arrow. We match up volumes there, okay? Which means that the M that we're seeing in here uh, is not the M that we're seeing here in potential comparison, okay? Due to the volume discrepancy. However. Uh, it does put us still in this area uh, exactly where this would be in comparison to its left side down move, um, as well as what's potentially coming up next, which you can see already starting is a green candle up, which would be the green candle up here uh, tomorrow, followed by the pullback. So this still is in play. There's the placement of the comparative volume analysis. Uh, this is for the guys that were uh, the group that stayed after uh, the close of market today. We were talking about this. I crunched the numbers. Uh, that's where we would be uh, due to uh, w using volume, uh, the comparative volume analysis to uh, locate where we are in this movement if this is what we're replicating. Okay. All right. Now that that's explained, uh, what I pointed out to them was, hey, wait a minute. So when I went, when I first started doing this. Uh, when I first identified that we were in this macro descending, uh, this, this fractal here was what led me to the, because I didn't have this one completed, but this is what led me to the seven-year uh, replicated uh, fractal of AMC's historical self that began IPO in 2014 and ended in January 2021. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and if some of you uh, watch the video, if any of you watch the, the original video or have been in the live streams, you saw me draw out this pattern in this empty white fractal of uh, a, a touch up, down, a small W, uh, a run back up, a, uh, a rejection off of the uh, white descending wedge resistance, back down to the confluence of support area, and then another small W down here before we went parabolic, just like in this right I guess I can't bring myself at the same time so right here's what I'm referring to okay this white descending wedge fractal right inside of the macro yellow or still above the mega macro uh, megaphone uh, fractal or I guess uh, structure that's holding all of this uh, inside of it however this is what I was looking for and I drew this out right we come down we make a W, we go back up, we get rejected, we come down, down, up, down, up, make another W, then we go parabolic. So I had had that drawn out in here, and what drew me to this uh, with the confluence of support was this fractal here that we printed in the same one. Well, when I went back and just out of curiosity today, I said, let's go back and look at this one, uh, and this is where we ended up. I'm trying to get this so you can see it. As you can see, uh, it looks very, 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 very similar to the, to the one that it's in the same fractal, which would put it being an alternating replicating uh, fractal with the micro movements inside, which is something that I had talked about previously. Uh, I'm glad I went back and looked at it. It does look very similar. As you can see, we'll go ahead and map this out. We came down into the descending wedge. Uh, we wicked down, down in, we wicked down. We shot back up to the resistance uh, right where it basically starts and got rejected. We shot back up right where it basically starts. We got rejected. Rejection comes down. We have a W. Down, up, down, up. Right? We have a W. Down, up, down, up. Right? Now, we this here, we go the whole way up 
and we get rejected again a second time off of the descending wedge resistance. We haven't done that yet. We started a little pullback this morning, which I called for. I said we would see a push up in the short term, and then I believe we'd see a pullback. We saw that initially. Granted, pre-market pulled back, and then we pushed up, and then we pulled back, but that's what I was looking for on a micro, uh, and I'm actually looking for it on a macro-ish, mid-macro or mid-micro, whatever you want to call it. Uh, which was what I was referring to would would be this coming up here and being rejected at some point off of this for a second time that would replicate not only this right here that I was originally referring to uh, for uh, for uh, scenario two or one yeah scenario two one was the uh, single bottom but then I realized let me go back and look at where this started so here we are this is where this for me this is where this started with the identification. And I'm seeing it. Uh, I hope you're able to see this. I hope it makes sense looking at it because, I mean, it's just loud and clear to me here. Uh, so here's the deal. Um, again, we're in kind of the same place, right? We're, we're waiting to see. Uh, again, we're, I think here we're going to see, um, like I had mapped out. Uh, 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 down, uh, so we're right in here. Um, I believe we, we might see a little pull down. Uh, if not, I, I think we're going to see a push up. I, the, I think um, we may initially see a pull down or they may flip flop it like they did today. That's okay. But I do believe we're going to see a push up either way, which it would be here uh, on this candle, followed by this pullback, uh, which again is what I was expecting going into today on a more of a mid uh, macro to macro. Um in this scenario and then again in here we are in this scenario uh if this is lining up according to this and this which are again same different but similar double bottoms in this descending wedge uh i would fully be expecting a push up to this um descending wedge resistance here uh turn around tuesday the market was essentially down today um you know, I think things are all pretty much green now, as you can see. Uh, but it would be a good turnaround Tuesday to fulfill. Uh, not too big of a move, but enough to make some impact. Uh, and then we would reject down off of that in this scenario, back down to the confluence down here and work our way down, which, as you can see, is a shitty drop for our, you know, for our intensive purposes. But uh, nonetheless, if it if it's going to create this next, then I'm all for it. You know, just as I think everybody would be. Um, and again here, this is the comparative one to that that's fulfilled uh, in the same fractal. And I think that would be essentially what we'd be looking at here is a push up, a wick up, touch, pull back, and then we would come down now. It, again, in the other one, we came down pretty much on a straight line here, which again, you can see we came down, came up, come down, up. All right, we're going to do that in between. What we're looking for is the overall movement, right, from high to low left to right and here this is where you draw your line i mean yes you can go micro super micro in my opinion one hour or under and start looking at these movements in here uh but the re it, reality is i'm playing the long side of this so i could really not care what happens uh inside of here like this so um anywho this is what i'm looking at uh again for all this to play out it does look similar it's the original uh elgo exposed uh fractal that led me to the discovery uh, of that initial uh, confluence of support right here. Uh, so yeah, I went doubled back, took a look, and um, man, it sure looks similar, doesn't it? Let me stretch this up so you can really get it. There it is. See it? Okay. And there it is. So my gut tells me, again, I'm going to keep an eye on the single bottom uh, fractal as well. Um, and the single bottom scenario, scenario number one. Uh, but I'm starting, and this is the one I was hoping for. I'm really liking, because this gives us a parabolic move. Uh, especially with the confluence of support that would be here at the double bottom uh, and the second little W inside of the big one here. 
Uh, so this is the one I'm actually hoping for. However, if we continue ripping up out of here, not ripping, but grinding up out of here out of the single bottom scenario like this, uh, I'm okay with it. I'll be keeping an eye on this as well. Uh, but I wanted to let you guys see this and just give you the basic uh, behind that. I hope it was pretty basic and give you a little update on uh, AMC, how we fared today. Uh, I called AMC movements out uh, damn near on damn near exact. I called GameStops damn near exact. I called BBIGs damn near exact. That's what this algorithm identification does. It allows you to use past movements, past fractal shapes, and the movements that are contained within for future price projection. Listen, if this interests you, come hang out with us. I live stream every day, Monday through Friday, from market open to market close. Uh, I also have a private Discord. It's filling up. We're getting a really good group of guys and girls in there. Uh, we, we go over all these different uh, algorithms that I've identified and the stocks in which they are. Um, we we talk, we use them, we go back and forth about them. We're actually, um, we're researching, we're looking for other ones as well. Um, I do option call outs in there for daily scalps that have been absolutely blowing everything out of the water. Just uh, over triple digit gainers uh, pretty much practically every single day. Uh, sometimes multiple uh, for the day as well. Um, if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description of all this. Uh, I would appreciate it if you liked the video on your way out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Um, go ahead and follow on Twitter. All the links are in the about page uh, here on YouTube. Uh, but if you made it this far, I know it was a little bit long, but I wanted to get that through. Um, I hope it makes sense. I hope you can see what I'm seeing. Uh, it's there, folks. It's just a matter of uh, which way we go here uh, initially on the micro movements. But I believe the macros are coming to fruition. Nothing's throwing them off. I'm still keeping my eye on a diversion from the uh, broader market. And uh, yeah, looks like we might have a have a nice push, a little push, not a big push, but a little push tomorrow if we stay in the double bottom um, scenario here. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, like I said, throw me a like on the way out. I appreciate it. Sub if you haven't. And uh, we'll either talk to you on the next video or we will talk to you in the live stream tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. I appreciate you guys. Enjoy your night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Later.